Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. And make sure you're checking out the website. It's Montez.com. Subscribe. If you don't, you can't keep up. Duh. If you want to connect with me, you can also check me out on Facebook. Montez McCamish. Just spell it out. Looking for some interesting reads? Make sure you check out the blog. Check out It's Montez.com. Click on the blog and you'll have lots of reading right there. Without further ado, let's get on to the show. Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. It's Montez McCamish from itsmontez.com and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how your ideas are only going to be ideas until you actually start doing something with them. So, you got the idea and it's sitting in your head and now you're trying to think um, a couple different things. One, probably, what can I do to make this idea come out and like, how can I make this birth of this idea be known to people? And then two... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure that you have this idea and you're like, who can I tell about the idea and who can I get interested in about the idea? And, and then and then last but not least, it's probably the, the most important is how much money it's going to take to make this idea come to light. You know, what are you going to have to do to make this idea come to light? Well, sure. Those are good things that you're going to need to think about on how to make this idea come to light. But I'm going to tell you what. When you spend too much time thinking about how you're going to make this idea come to light, you're going to forget that you even have the idea. The best thing you can do to start to bring this idea to light is actually to start doing whatever the idea is and actually start working towards it. Now, granted, you don't know the math pieces and you don't know exactly how it's going to be placed out. You never really do. When you get an idea, you know you, you don't you don't really know what the next thing is. Now, you can try to like set a brainstorm or make a little graph or what did they, you know, or a little, little, little circle here and it points down to here and then you put a circle here within your reasons for what it has to do or whatever. You could try to lay these things out as best that you want. But before you actually start doing the idea, the idea is really never going to happen. It's just going to be an idea. So, so the best thing you can do is actually just start taking and, and doing now, 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 again, like I said, you don't really know what's going on, so you're going to have to, like, judge yourself within, like, the fails that happen and, and learn from the fails, and then you're going to have to, going to have to take some things and just do it, and, and if it works, it works. You know, it's always going to be a learning thing within the idea. Now, whenever you do find something that works, make sure you document it, write it down, do some kind of way that you can remember it for the rest of whenever you're doing things, like for me, social media. All right, I found out that through Twitter, it's a little bit easier to contact people and get a hold of people. So like for me, I spend an hour a day contacting people through Twitter, and this is how I book people for my interviews. That's exactly how it works. Now, now granted, granted, I've had to do a whole lot of extra work on the side within getting better at perfecting my pitch for people, and then also to building the network, it's Montez.com, building, building, it's Montez TV, building... Uh, the blog, building all these different things, you know, I, it took a lot of time getting all that content down and down and good to where people could actually see it and want to be part of what's going on. See, that's another big thing as well. You might have an idea, but the idea is really going to set and look as an idea just to other people if you've never really gone out and gone did what you said was in your head before. It's like, for instance, someone might have interest in what, you know, might have interest in you, but then when they go and look into what you've actually done for yourself within like your creative brain or whatever, and they see that you've never actually launched anything before, they're going to probably, you know, the person that you're going to try to pitch the idea to is probably not going to be so apt to wanting to do things with you. I mean, it's just the way it is. So like, so like again, like when you get your idea, just go out and go do it. I don't know, whatever it is that you, you know, maybe you need just need a video camera. Maybe, maybe, maybe you just need someone to go talk to. Like a lot of people are like, hey, I want to get, I want to get a point for a show. I want to find some good way to talk to someone. Well, it's not that hard. You just go find somebody out there that's willing to go be on the camera and then start talking to them. And then next thing you know, you have content. People say, oh, I don't know how to make content. But then I'm like, what do you mean? 
you are content. Everything you have to say is content. Like, again, if you go look at Nielsen's rating, it was all works on what they think you think. You know, they, they get what you think, and they say, well, this is what the society thinks. Out of so many people, this is what society thinks, whatever the case. So your ideas, your thoughts, and what you're watching is valuable. So if that's valuable, maybe your conversation could be valuable. I don't know. Maybe you just got to sit down and think about it like that. It's usually just how your brain all works, you know. So so when you get your idea and you're wanting to bring it to life, yes, plan, but don't spend too much time planning. Spend more time just doing. Just do it, you know, and, and, and it just come to life. And you'll be like, hey, I, I mean, I don't know what this is, is over here that's working. Uh, that's your arm, you know, sticking on. You know, I mean, that's exactly how it happens. I mean, Things will start like uh, you'll start an idea and then all of a sudden another person will want to join with the idea. Where do they come from? You don't know. But really where it came from was because you were working and you were moving on towards with the idea. Other people found your idea to be interesting. And the next thing you know, boom, there it is. The idea starts to evolve. Now, now I'm going to tell you what. When the idea starts evolving, that's when you're going to need to take the time and actually write down what's going on. Document what's going on, the the do's and the don'ts, the pros and the cons. What's 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 working, what's not working, uh, uh, within growth on how how this worked. Take a take a memory note of whatever that is and put it down for later on because now that you've learned how to create one idea, you can use the knowledge that you've used to create this idea for every other idea. Because like again, like I, I know a lot of marketers, for instance, once you find a good way to network and market a piece of content, whether it's a, a video or, or, or a blog or whatever, once you find a certain method, yeah, that's good that you have that one method, but don't rely on just that one method because what happens when it goes down? I don't know if any of y'all have ever had the problem. YouTube Live went down not that long ago, but I found out there was another system that you could use to premiere your live stream for your YouTube, and it blew my mind. And I was like, okay, so cool, but I had to learn and I've been learning prior to for just in case the situation happened. You know, I, I was I was already ready for the situation. You know, and 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 it's like it's like I can't go live on my Facebook because I don't have a cellular device. But I found out how I can do it on my PC. Believe it or not, I can use my PC and do a live stream video, have live commentary, all these different things. I don't have to upload it straight up to my Facebook like you would normally do, like YouTube. Right now, this video was uploaded. It wasn't a live stream. So I could take this, pull this, and upload it to Facebook, and it's not a live stream. But but within the capabilities of having a live stream for Facebook, it, it's very valuable. And if someone doesn't have a cell phone, how do they do so? Well, I've got the answer. I found out how to do it. You can find out how to do it. Now, now whenever you find out how to do it, that's when it comes out to the point like, hey, are you going to teach someone else? Or are you going to sell it to someone else? You have all these different options. Then within saying, hey, look, I have a piece of knowledge. I could share this with you. You know, I mean, then some people is like, hey, I like what's going on. Your brain seems like it's trying to do its own thing. If that doesn't attract somebody, I don't know what will. So within your ideas, within whatever you're doing, learning on how to make other things work is going to definitely take you next to the next level. Um, anyway, I just wanted to spill that on you all. Um, again, this is Montez McCamish. You could always tune into any of my live shows because I'm going to have them booked. But the only way you can do that is if you click that bell. I spoke to the bell right here. That bell, I spoke to you all about that in the last show. Um, make sure you have that turned on because if you don't, you can't really know or get notifications when I'm doing uploads or when I'm live or whatever. But I'm going to tell you what. I've got a lot of live shows that are in the making right now as we speak. So, with that being said, I appreciate you all taking the time to tune in. I appreciate all the comments that you leave. Make sure that you're leaving comments inside the comment box. You know, that's giving me the life into my show, giving me the life into what I'm doing, and it just lets me know what's going on, what you all think. Your comments are important to me. And uh, please do share this video because, again, I need other people to be seeing this video, not just you all. I need the whole world to see this video because, like, this is something I think everyone can benefit from. Um, again, this channel is about knowledge. If it's not about knowledge, usually it's not here. Um, ladies and gentlemen, thanks again for tuning in. It's Montez.com. Check out the website. Subscribe. If you don't do that, you can't keep up. Duh. It's Montez.com. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's Montez McCamish from It's Montez.com. It's not very often to show my face on the camera, but as you know, uh, I've been doing some films, uh, working around artists and stuff like that. Um, this one's specifically at PBR with Dustin Collins. Um, 
I spoke to him first on the internet, met him in person in Elizabethtown. Now we're in Louisville, Kentucky. Um, I definitely wanted to share with you all this event. Reason why I think so is because like it's major inside of marketing. Like it's really important to reach out to other people, not even knowing what the situation might be for you. Like I didn't know whether or not it would be a positive or a negative for me. Uh, and, and then even doing more, I did business with him for free. So I didn't really know where it would take me. But now that I'm here in Louisville and, and I'm recording um, for him and I'm going to be able to do this film for him, it's actually took me a long way. So sometimes we shouldn't be thinking about the money. We should be thinking about uh, the long-term goals. Like me and Daddy on our way down here, we were talking. We were, and you're going to see her on the film too. But we were talking, we were like... Uh, People need to start thinking about things as it being a, a marathon and not a sprint. Like, this is a long-term goal, not a short-time goal. You know, like, you can't get the product right here, right now, because sometimes it's just not how it works. Got to flow with the mojo, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, uh, you'll be hearing from Lady D here soon. Uh, we're going to be uh, actually walking out. I'm going to show you our destination. Boom. You see these? Bow. You see all this stuff? This is where we're at, downtown Louisville, so... You can see that I am here at the location, but I definitely wanted to sit down and tell you all that. But I hope you enjoy the film. It's Montez.com. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you don't do that, you can't keep up. Duh. It's Montez.com. Hey, everybody. You're tuned in with us.
now watching Get This Knowledge with itsmontez.com featuring co-host John Pounders from Now You See TV. Make sure you connect with John Pounders from Now You See TV by just going to his website, nowyouctv.com. Hello everyone, it's Wontez.com and you are watching Get This Knowledge. Thanks so much for tuning in. Thank you, Montez. I, I will go ahead and introduce myself to those that don't know who I am. I uh, run a channel called Now You See TV. I have a couple other channels as well, but Now You See TV is my main channel, my main passion in life, the thing that you know keeps me pushing as far as I can. Get This Knowledge airs every single Monday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Be sure to tune in and share the content. Sharing is caring. This is what makes the world go round. It's Montez.com. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. So I, I want to ask you a little, a little bit different question. Um, okay. What, what was the hardest thing for you to deal with when becoming an author and getting your books published and, and things like this? And how did you overcome it? So the hardest thing for me was in the beginning is was that nobody was going to like it. Like, I really, I really felt like nobody was going to like it, but my obedience to the gift was no matter what I feel, this is what I have to release out into the atmosphere. Like, you know, I, I had to, but the more I, and that was just my own little you know, little bubbles and you, before you put something out there, you're like, oh, how, how are people going to receive it? So now moving forward, whether, like I said, whether, cause I, I've been going through a lot of stuff with this last book and I always, now I'm like, okay, so I'm going through some stuff with this book. So I know this book is ready to rock the world. Like I know this is about to change some people's lives. Like this is about to do what it's supposed to do because if I feel this uncomfortable, you know, trying to, you know, do it. And it's what I love. I know that it's about to impact some people's lives. So just getting over that initial, like, are they going to like it? And then now I'm like, well, no matter if they like it or not, I'm going to put it out there into the atmosphere. Cause like I said before, I am not going to leave this earth full with words or with thoughts, or I'm not going to have any shoulda, coulda, woulda. Because I'm no, gonna get it. Not. I like that. No shit for the winners. I'm not gonna have no regret. I'm gonna put it out there, and whether they like it or not, I tell my sons because I have two sons, and I tell them all the time. You know, when they're younger now, but when they get older, they're gonna be able to say, "My mom has books out." And they say that now, but when they get older, they be like, "This is a book my mom did." This like it's it's in literature forever. It's out in the atmosphere. Like I. Put something out there for my legacy so when they get to be older and older and they're telling people yeah my mom is a writer and this is what she do this is her book this is the legacy that she left for us that's what's important to me i know that i know there are going to be some people who like it i know there are going to be some people who don't like it i got a two a one star review i think on until tomorrow comes but at that point i said and i have 40 i had 48 other five star reviews so that one one star review, you know, at first I was like, wow. But then I said, everything that I write isn't for everybody. And it will find the audience that it's for. So some people may not like it and some people do. So I just focus on the people that do. And the people who don't, oh, well, find you something else to read. <laughs> you know, at first I was like, wow. But then I said, everything that I write isn't for everybody. And it will find the audience that it's for. So some people may not like it and some people do. So I just focus on the people that do. And the people who don't, oh, well, find you something else to read. <laughs> right, right. You can't appease everyone. I like how you keep on just saying it's not your own faith that you leaned upon. It was the Lord's faith. I like I like to hear that. This is because, you know, a lot of people, we, we want to go and do what we want to do. But then again, when you read about Jonah and the whale, he wanted to go do what he wanted to do. He found out what he wanted to do. So I think I'm just the cutest little deer ever. You're out of it. <laughs>